We built this login form by making a route controller and rendering a template. Dead simple. When we submit the form, it posts right back to slash login. So to authenticate the user, you might expect us to put some logic right here. Like if this is a post request, read the posted email and password, query for the user object, and eventually check the password. That makes perfect sense. And that is completely not what we're going to do. Symfony's authentication system works in a bit of a magic way, which I guess is fitting for our site. At the start of every request, before Symfony calls the controller, the security system executes a set of authenticators. The job of each authenticator is to look at the request, see if there is any authentication information that it understands, like a submitted email and password or an API key that's stored on a header, and if there is, use that to query the user and check the password. If all that happens successfully, then boom, authentication complete. Our job is to write and activate these authenticators. Open up config packages security.yaml. Remember the two parts of security, authentication, who you are, and authorization, what you can do. The most important part of this file is firewalls. A firewall is all about authentication. Its job is to figure out who you are. And it usually makes sense to have only one firewall in your app, even if there are multiple different ways to authenticate, like a login form and an API key and OAuth. But whoa, whoa, whoa. If we almost always want only one firewall, why are there already two? Here's how this works. At the start of each request, Symfony goes down the list of firewalls, reads the pattern key, which is a regular expression, and finds the first firewall whose pattern matches the current URL. So there's only ever one firewall active per request. If you look closely, the first firewall is a fake. It basically matches if the URL starts with slash underscore profiler or slash underscore WDT and then sets security to false. In other words, it's basically making sure that you don't create a security system that is so epically awesome that you block the web debug toolbar and profiler. So in reality, we only have one real firewall called main. It has no pattern key, which means it will match all requests that don't match the dev firewall. Oh, and the names of these firewalls, main and dev, they're totally meaningless. Most of the config that we're going to put beneath the firewall relates to activating authenticators those things that execute early in each request and try to authenticate the user. We'll add some of that config soon, but these two top keys do something different. Lazy allows the authentication system to not authenticate the user until it needs to, and provider ties this firewall to the user provider we talked about earlier. You should have both of these lines, but neither are terribly important. Anyways, anytime that we want to authenticate the user, like when we submit a login form, we need an authenticator. There are some core authenticator classes that we can use, including one for login forms, and I'll show you some of those later. But to start, let's build our own authenticator class from scratch. To do that, go to the terminal and run Symfony Console Make Auth. As you can see, you can select login form authenticator to cheat and generate a bunch of code for a login form. But since we're building things from scratch, select empty authenticator and call it login form authenticator. Awesome. This did two things. It created a new authenticator class and also updated security.yaml. Open the class first. Source security login form authenticator.php. The only rule about an authenticator is that it needs to implement authenticator interface, though usually you'll extend abstract authenticator, 
which implements Authenticator interface for you. We'll talk about what these methods do one by one. Anyways, Abstract Authenticator is nice because it implements a super boring method for you. Once we activate this new class in the security system, at the beginning of every request, Symfony will call this supports method and basically ask, do you see authentication information on this request that you understand? To prove that Symfony will call this, let's just DD supports. Okay, so how do we activate this authenticator? How do we tell our firewall that it should use our new class? Back in security.yaml, we already have the code that does that. This custom authenticator line was added by the make auth command. So if you have a custom authenticator class, this is how you activate it. Later, we'll see that you can have multiple custom authenticators if you want. Anyways, this means that our authenticator is already active. So let's try it. Refresh the login page. It hit the supports method. In fact, if you go to any URL, it will hit our DD. On every request before the controller, Symfony now asks our authenticator if it supports authentication on this request. Next, let's fill in the authenticator logic and get our user logged in.